Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope all of you are doing well. Uh, I am back once again with another Dollar Tree haul and just a couple thrift store pickups. I went out to source some things for eBay and then stopped at a different Dollar Tree. And they had a couple different titles that my Dollar Tree didn't have. So I picked up a few. Um, yeah, so... We're going to go ahead and get into this update. We're going to start off with the CD that I picked up. I picked up uh, Glee, the or the music Glee, the Christmas album. Uh, I am a fan of the Glee series. It's one of my all-time favorites. Um, it's very relatable. Uh, I am a fan of musicals. There's something just about musical and film, just the art of it together, um, that I just, there's something about it I love. So had to uh, pick this one up. Got this at the Salvation Army. Uh, my goal is to get all the Glee albums that have been out. Um, there's so many. You know they've got a few volumes. Uh, I'm sure they got a few volumes with the Christmas albums, and then of course you know there's the Rocky Horror uh, Picture Show, and then the Madonna. Um, but there are a total of about i think 12 tracks uh we need a little christmas deck the rooftop merry christmas darling baby it's cold outside you know the the popular ones that we're all you know familiar with so i am very happy that i was able to find that then at the dollar tree i picked up uh the gambler with mark Wahlberg, one of my all-time favorites um, a really good movie. I was very surprised how good this was. I don't think it did too well when it was released in theaters, but I enjoyed it. So I'm uh, very happy that I was able to find it at the Dollar Tree location that I went to. And also from the Dollar Tree, I picked up Game Night, another favorite of mine. I uh, love J Jason Bateman, one of my favorite actors. Um, this one I was very surprised with on how good it was. It's got a great cast. If you haven't seen this one, I would uh, highly recommend checking it out. So that is Game Night. And then the last one from Dollar Tree I found was Mayhem. This is a movie I have been looking uh, to pick up for quite some time. I just didn't want to pay so much. So to find it at a Dollar Tree of all places is awesome. I'm very happy and uh, looking forward to uh Checking it out, it's a Shutter, uh, I guess a Shutter exclusive, um, released by RLJE Films. So yeah, it's got uh, Stephen uh, Yen, I believe is how you pronounce it, uh, from The Walking Dead, he played Glenn. So yeah, really awesome there. And then a couple DVDs I found at the um, at the uh, Salvation Army. The first one is Pumpkin with Christina Ricci. Um, I remember watching this a couple times. Growing up, um, really enjoyed it. Um, it's a 2002 film. Uh, you know, it's got... Who else is in this other than Christina Ricci? Um, I don't know. I don't think there's anybody like anybody else well-known at the time. But yeah, I like this movie. Um, I think she ends up becoming friends um, or... You know, um, I believe becomes friends or has a relationship with somebody who's um, uh, a little disabled, I believe. I believe that. Don't uh, don't quote me on that. But yeah, very uh, happy to find that. I don't know if this is available on Blu-ray. If anybody knows, let me know. And then the last one, I am so happy to find. Um, I love this movie. I am a big fan of spoof films, whether it's the more recent ones or it's you know stuff that came out around the 80s and 90s. Um, this one I do plan to upgrade on Blu-ray, but uh, I picked up the DVD because I wanted to revisit the film. I picked up Stan Helsing. This movie, uh, there's something about this movie I just love. Uh, you've got the actor from Reba. He's also in Still Waiting. You got Kenan Thompson. Um, not sure, familiar, not really familiar with the film she's been in, and I believe she's a adult um, film star. And then of course it spoofs like Pinhead, Chucky, 
Jason, Freddy, Leatherface. Uh, of course, you got Leslie uh, Nielsen, uh, which I believe this was the final film he did. Um, I think not too long he, or maybe not too long after this he passed away, or it could have been a few years after. But yeah, it's it's a fun movie. I I I, I can't say. Uh, I wish I could say more about it. It's just entertaining. It's got tons of features. Um, yeah, it, it's one of those spoof movies that I feel like is actually good. Um, it doesn't take itself seriously. I like that it's, we finally get a spoof on the well popular, um, you know, horror icons. Uh, the weird thing too, the actor who plays Chucky looks a lot like Mike Myers, um, uh, the actor Mike Myers it, in certain scenes you almost are convinced that it's him and i for the longest time i thought so but when i looked up at the imdb page i don't even think he has a photo under his profile so it's really hard to uh know if it's him or not but um yeah it was pretty interesting pinhead has all like these different things in his head like a, a dart a syringe freddy is like a spoof between freddy krueger and flavor Fa flav basically um yeah it's pretty weird and leatherface He's got the, you know, he's basically got a leather suitcase for a mask. And he uses, like, I think instead of a chainsaw, it's a, um, it's like a, uh, a garden blower. So, yeah, it's, uh, pretty weird, but, uh, it's fun. And, um, there is one scene that's kind of really messed up with a cockroach. I'm not going to give too much away, but yeah, definitely one to uh, check out if you haven't seen it. So there you have it. That's my uh, Dollar Tree haul with a couple thrift store pickups. Um, I do apologize if the camera, um, if everything looks so close up. I'm actually on the uh, widescreen um, uh, setting. So yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I need to stop chit-chatting before this video gets too long, but uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you in a future video. Peace.